A host of preps underway as the city prepares for the temperatures to plummet. But for those in the business of taking care of the homeless, this is a very uneasy time. We could use more, more uh, gloves and more hats because I know people are going to be asking for them even though they can't stay. They are getting ready at the Billy Brumfield Men's Shelter to turn homeless men away, even though the temperatures are plummeting over the next several days. The shelter could only take a third of its normal capacity, which is 11. And there's so much more that are needing a warm place to sleep in Jackson. Because of COVID, man, I mean, it's cold. Uh, people are trying to get in out of the cold weather. The, the police usually call me because they find somebody straying out there that they're trying to get out of the weather. Uh, and stuff like that, not to mention the usual calls. Shelter operators are currently networking as the cold weather moves in, trying to find available beds. Some shelters in the areas have closed because of the pandemic. We do everything we can to help them. The ones that are open, like Gateway Rescue Mission, are at limited capacity because of the need for social distancing. 30 people instead of the usual 60. People don't have nowhere to go, and a lot of times, um, you know, we don't really want to turn anyone away, so, but we do see people walking on the street, and that really do break our hearts, and we do everything we can to help them. While the shelters are limited in how many people they can take in, what they can use more of are donations, everything from cold weather clothing to money, money they can use to buy goods in bulk and serve more people. In Jackson, Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News.